we are going to change this number this is decimal number and then change it to a uh, hexadecimal system so again you write down the position and we start counting from 16 path 0 16 path 3 16 path 6 and 16 path 9 and then we find the first term 14 times 16 path 9 so we separate the term whenever we find plus something or minus something there in total four terms here 16 part 9 that means this digit we have to place 14 but however we don't put two symbols together in one digit so that's why in hexadecimal system we use the letter 14 is represented by e we should write down e here and then similar reason 16 part 4 we find 16 part 3 here so this digit is representing 16 part 4 and 7 no matter decimal or hexadecimal, we just use this symbol 7 to represent it. And then we have 12 times of 16 part 1. 16 part 0, 16 part 1 here. So this is 12. And then 12 is represented by C. Finally, we have 5. They didn't write 5 times 16 part something. That means 5 is equal to 5 times 1. That means 5 times 16 part 0. That means the last digit here is 5. All other are 0. So that is the number in hexadecimal system. Then you find the answer. It is B. To identify it, first, whenever you find 14, you know that 14 is represented by E but not D. So you know that A and C are not the answer. And then if you know power of 9, we are talking about in total 10 digit. So option D is too short, only eight, uh, 9 digit in total. That's why this one is wrong. And it's helped us to quicker identify the answer should be B.